All right, so we're going to, we're going to start with the pro tilt. What what knuckle do you use right now? Uh, Marshalltown. Marshalltown. Okay. I want you to feel this. If that's not the smoothest thing you've ever felt. Very smooth. Okay, so it's heat treated gears. Uh, it's bevel gears, just like the differential in your truck. You don't have to lube it. Nothing to do. We have one unique feature. It's a tension knob. So you can personalize. So now look, now it's holding your angle for you. Yeah. It's not flopping down, yeah. right? Okay. We call this the QAS system, quick attach system. So you can slide these on our floats very easily without any tools. So originally you would buy one and you would bolt it on here, you would bolt it on your Fresno. So when you're done floating, now look, you literally slide it off, you put it on your Fresno, you're good to go. So you're saving money because you only have to buy one head. And again, when I was the, the owner, I used to hate, I had rocket. And they'd be in my back of my truck, guys would throw wheelbarrows and everything, they would break. So now you can take this off and put it in the cab of your truck. Okay, so that's our pro tilt. We're saying we have a better mousetrap. Sure. All right. So this is the, the big brother called the Magby Pro. Same exact gears, same exact QAS system. Uh, here's your charging port. So there's an 18 volt lithium polymer ba battery inside. And uh, it lasts 20 hours on a charge. You have a battery display right here. So now just think, you're having constant vibration on your flow. So I used to pour concrete in California where it'd get really hot, and we would always tap the pole or shake the pole. So now, you feel that. It's just a high frequency vibration. I don't want you to change how you're, how you're doing your throws. Do it at the same speed. It's just vibrating the float the entire time. Um, and then last thing is our float. I designed this float. It's called the Pro Float Light. You notice how there's a slope on it. So I never understood why floats had a sharp edge on both sides. I wanted something you could run flat. So now, when you push this out, you can run it perfectly flat and not dig an edge. And then when you pull this back, this creates a suction and it opens it up like a wooden float. Do you ever use wood floats? Okay, so this will mimic a wood float exactly. And then check this out, the cutting edge. See how it's curled? So the old float, you would, you would cut a high spot and that excess would go over. So now this rip curls back. As you pull this thing back, it just it goes with you instead of going over your float. So let's say you say, Scott, I don't want to leave it open. I want to seal it. You slide it off, you turn it around, you put it back on. You turn the direction of the float. You don't do that with any other float. Now you're ripping on the way out, drop it down, and you're sealing with a sharp edge. You don't have to angle it or pitch it, and sometimes it, it walks on you. And creates, now you pull this thing back perfectly flat, and contractors are telling us they're getting a flatter floor because of this system. And again, no one else has this. Right. So you see how thin this is? Guys are like, oh, that's gonna warp. I spend extra money, this is heat treated. So this is not gonna warp on you. Okay. Um, it weighs exactly the same weight as any other trial on the market. We're just saying it's better.